Hello, Susan Vincent's here, and today I want to show you an interactive tool that may help you um, with both face-to-face -face lessons and um, for um, non-traditional or e-learning lessons um, as you present material to your students. So the tool I want to show you today is Jamboard. And if your school has um, Google G Suite for Education, and you are accustomed to using the waffle menu, be signed into your school Google account, click on your waffle menu, and as it loads, you're gonna scroll down through there, and it may be toward the bottom depending on if you've used it before, and you're gonna find this little app right here that you may or may not have noticed before. It's called Jamboard. We're gonna to click to open Jamboard, or if you don't have access to the waffle, just go to jamboard.google.com. And then it'll look much like your Google Drive or your Google Docs. If you have anything saved here, it'll be um, there ready to go. So then if we want to use a new Jamboard, I'm going to click the plus sign at the bottom right-hand corner of the page. And it's going to load up a blank white screen, very similar to a whiteboard, just a white sheet of area. So then you have the ability here over on the side, especially if you have a touch screen device such as a touch screen Chromebook or an iPad. Um, I can use the pen tool here to make marks. I can um, choose the thickness of my pen to do different thicknesses, um, even a paintbrush type style. And I can change the color and um, make different colored marks, write words. This especially is nice if you have a touch screen computer. I also have an eraser tool right here. So if I want to erase, and then I can select my mouse again to point if I'm demonstrating something to my students. Here, I can make a sticky note. So this is also a great tool. If you have um, a committee or a team and you're planning something such as um, upcoming training sessions, or you know, trying to put students into groups or classrooms. This is a great way to do that. So I just use the sticky note option. I can change the color of my sticky note and I can write information here in the note. And I can go back and edit and process as needed. And that'll save that sticky note. And then I can keep adding more sticky notes. Here is another note. And I can save that one and so on. So then I have the ability to move those sticky notes wherever I want. I also have the ability here to insert an image. So if I want to insert an image, I'm going to click the picture. And maybe I want um, a picture of a flower. I'm going to go to... Um, where I can search Google Images and choose Flower. I can also choose a photo that I've already saved in my Google Drive. So I'm going to choose the picture of the flower. And I'm going to select it. And it's going to bring that in there. Then I have the ability to annotate, draw. I could label the parts of the flower and so on and so forth. And then I have just a little laser um, pointer here that I can use as a pointer if I'm presenting. You also have the ability here at the top to add more pages. So I can add as many pages as I want. Notice I'm on page three of three and then I can go back to my original pages. And then I know something that um, several people enjoy is these backgrounds. Okay, so I'm going to click on background and let's choose this first, um, this second one right here. So maybe I want ruled paper. And again, this comes in very handy if you have an actual touch screen. Right now I'm writing with my mouse, so it's not gonna look as nice. But if you have a touch screen, your finger or your stylus will definitely be good for that. I'm gonna go to another page, click on background, and then I also have the ability here to do graph paper. This is great for those times when you want students to um, make a graph, and again, I'm drawing with my mouse. You can draw more precisely with your finger or a stylus. And then maybe I need my students to plot points on an X and a Y axis. And then I can do various um, gray backgrounds for graph paper, and then I can do just solid blues and blacks. 
So this is Jamboard. And again, um, just like a Google Doc, you're going to um, give it a title. Click OK, and then it'll save it. Then I have my share button up here. I can share it just like I would a Google Doc by inviting people. Or I can get the shareable link if I so choose. And then once you go back to your Google Drive, this will be shared as a Jamboard file within your Google Drive. So um, hopefully this is something um, to help you um, math teachers or science people or elementary, English language arts, whatever. You need a place to have a background, a certain type of paper and be able to label things or be able to bring in images and be able to label those um, using your touchscreen devices or what have you. So if you have any more questions about Jamboard or need any assistance, I'll be happy to um, help you. Um, just reach out and um, let me know what I can do for you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.